This is Neil Osterweil with Elsevier Oncology. I'm speaking with Dr. Nancy Tarbell and Dr. Tom Delaney from Massachusetts General Hospital and the Northeast Proton Beam Therapy Center. Uh, they're presenting data here at Astro regarding the use of protons versus photons. Uh, Dr. Tarbell, could you summarize your findings for us, please? Yes, actually, we had a fellow, Christine Chung, who spent a year looking at all of the patients treated at the Harvard Cyclotron. Uh, and that was through the year 2001. And what she did was retrospectively work with statisticians to have the patients who were treated with protons be matched for a similar patient that was treated with photons and asked the question, what's the difference in the risk of potentially radiation-related second malignant tumors? And what were the findings? This, the findings quite uh, were somewhat surprising because we really did see a significant difference in the proton patients, meaning that they have a statistically different and lower risk of second cancers over time when matched compared to patients treated with conventional radiation. And what did you see in, the, in terms of late-term side effects? This study wasn't that comprehensive to look at that. We really only measured second tumors. This was a very large group of patients treated. Some, um, you know, it was hard to get the information on, but luckily for, through this SEER data matching process, we were able to collect at least second malignancy data. We didn't look at other outcomes. Dr. Delaney, uh, protons are something of a, a new gee whiz technology to some people. Um, especially in, uh, in the fields of radiation oncology. What do you think these new findings uh, say about the prospects uh, for the therapy? Well, the interesting thing about these findings is that they confirm the physical advantage of protons compared to x-rays. Photons, uh, standard radiation, uh, will exit uh, beyond the target in the patient and deliver more dose, more radiation dose to unaffected normal tissue, whereas protons travel a certain distance and stop. And in general, they radiate perhaps 40% as much normal tissue as uh, x-rays do. Because of that, one would anticipate that the normal tissues that receive additional radiation with x-rays compared to protons would be at higher risk for side effects related to the x-ray treatment. And in fact, what this study demonstrates is that there are fewer late radiation-associated second tumors with the use of protons compared to photons. The other somewhat subtle point for those who really follow this field is that protons ha have some additional characteristics that you may not see with photons in that they have some secondary neutron production related to uh, absorption and physical effects of the protons and the proton beam line. And there was some question about what the clinical significance of these neutrons would be. And at least in the data from here, it looks like they have a relatively lower impact than the, the fact that the radiation dose to the normal tissues is substantially larger with x-rays than with protons. And in clinical experience thus far, what tumors have, have seemed to be most promising targets for proton beam therapy? Well, D Dr. Tarbell's area of expertise is pediatric tumors, and we think clearly that the, these are patients who will have a significant advantage with protons compared to photons. Uh, other uh, clinical areas are, uh, in particular, tumors which are adjacent to critical normal structures, so tumors near the base of the skull, tumors near the spinal cord, uh, tumors, in the, tumors in the eye, and head and neck tumors are, are probably uh, particularly uh, uh, well suited for treatment with protons, as are certain brain tumors. Now, yes, and, and one of the things that we found so interesting, uh, since we do treat children, children live a longer time period, so the potential life years of benefit, if you really have less second cancer risk, is very profound in that population and, and makes an even stronger argument that certainly pediatric patients should always be considered, if they need radiation, should always at least be considered for protons. And I think certainly there's a lot of discussion in the literature these days about survivorship issues in cancer patients. And for us, one of the most devastating complications are for a child or an adult who's been cured of one tumor only to face a second tumor that's treatment related. I think anything that we can do to reduce that is clearly going to be an advantage for patients. Thank you, Dr. Tarbell, Dr. Delaney.